This is what the guards look like before I vacuumed them out. You can see there are a bunch of leaves in there that could potentially block any of the downspouts. This is a second gutter that I'm going to be cleaning. This is up on the top of the house. It's about three stories from the ground, but luckily I've got the deck to stand on. First thing you're going to need is a wet and dry shop vac. Set the shop vac up in the wet form so you're going to have no filter in there, no bag in there. That just allows the vacuum to accept any water. So you may have water up in your gutter, so you don't want that getting into your filter bag or a filter. And the next thing that actually allows for better suction is what I found. What I like to start is just pick one side of the gutter and then just work my way across. You can see here I'm lifting the vacuum up and down a little bit and this just helps, um, I found, to disturb the leaves and get them to be sucked up by the vacuum as some of them could be too big to actually go down the spout as it's only two inch um, diameter piping but this just helps nudge them all around you'll see me just shaking it off of the side of the gutter so the video is sped up a little bit but here you can see that the vacuum sucks the leaves up with no problem at all really when there's only a few there where it does have a little bit of an issue is where there is a big build up of leaves and it starts sucking too many leaves at once and that can block the pipe but then again you can just turn the vacuum off and they fall off of the pipe or you can just lower the pipe down pull them off then put it back up there it's not too heavy but it does get clogged and you just have to work around that and here you can see the cleaned gutter there are no leaves and a lot of the debris has been removed this is where having a deck comes in handy to get to that third story gutter you can see that there is a little bit of flex in the pipe here and that's just because of the sheer length that it is at and it doesn't really affect the suction on the vacuum. Sometimes when you've got a lot of leaves in there, it's just easier just to turn your shop back into a leaf blower essentially, and then use the same system just to blow the leaves out a little bit. A little bit too heavy up there for them to be um, sucked up, some of them are wet, so just clogging it up. And here are the results after using the vacuum as a leaf blower and then converting it back to the vacuum and then just getting rid of all the leaves that were left. It is all clean. There we go, gutter cleaning done for the winter. Just saved myself a couple hundred dollars. Not too difficult, probably took about an hour and 20 minutes, an hour and a half or so. But there we go. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.